part of learning but Josh Weitz can excel in two completely different disciplines of chess and also the art of self-defense within the hands of Tai Chi Chuan propulsion. Josh began playing chess at the age of 6 and attained the title of international teacher at the age of 16 at the time. 21 Josh moved aloof from chess and set his sights on the hands of a Tai Chi Chuan push. 7 years later, Josh won the Planet Tai Chi Han Championship title in Taiwan an unprecedented achievement for American sporting man Josh in his rapid ascent to the highest of the Tai Chi Chuan world. This can be largely thanks to the training principles Josh has absorbed while you learn chess, and that I can use these same global learning principles to accelerate skill development and performance at the very best level in any discipline. Start learning chess by starting with all 32 pieces on the board instead. His teacher began by scanning the board so only the king is. In pawn versus king, he felt how these simple pieces moved and played with many alternative variations until the pawn and king felt comfortable then added some pawns and knight and focused only on knight's movements and knight's basic principles like trying to find a double attack attacking two pieces simultaneously just like the king and after if the knight's movements felt natural for him he moved to the bishop rather than the rook from the queen who focused on every bit until he developed an intuitive sense of its value by slowing down within the beginning and about to know the fundamentals, he can acquire more advanced concepts faster which helped him bypass most novice players to be told the fundamentals of any skill that focuses on one basic element and practice simple differences even as Josh practiced different chess positions with the knight. Don't stop until this component becomes natural or feel the movement you're practicing effortlessly only then start Josh says that the snowboarder should start with the fundamentals of sliding along the ice and backslide with deep relaxation, then step by step more and more complex maneuvers is accommodated while maintaining the sensation of ease that was experienced is initially within the only set of skills. Think about feeling the fundamentals like building a brick wall. Wall represents the skill trying to develop the underside layer of bricks that represent the fundamental components of skill, and therefore the mortar between bricks is that the feeling you've got for every component if you simply stack bricks on top of every other without using mortar and without giving it enough time to dry your wall. The muse are going to be weak and therefore the bricks that you simply add over your foundation will vibrate and your wall height are severely restricted. Global learning principle number two stays faithful your style once you understand there's nobody right thanks to master a skill, but there's a wrong way and this is often not right for you. Josh is first drawn to chess after watching chess hustlers in Washington Square Park in the Big Apple play fast chess quickly and are drawn to their unbridled aggression the attack form of chess. Every what Josh learned too soon helped him be an improved attacking player, but in his late teens, he put his trust in an exceedingly senior captain who had a very different style, a method released that stifled the opponent by cancelling his options. By perfect positional play, Josh likened her to an anaconda calling round her prey slowly, killing her slowly, and this method felt strange to Josh who liked to maneuver toys into a chaotic situation so found a beautiful attack inside the chaos by trusting his instinct but now he was told to think like somebody else by shunning about his natural inclinations and trying to shape himself in keeping with someone else's style. His love for chess disappeared and eventually he came to the fore within the competition to preserve your love for learning. You need to remain faithful to your style to seek out your style specialize in what attracted you within the setting out to the discipline you are trying to master what attracted your imagination and your interest often the first interest is that the person you're keen on if you are a writer interested in specific writers who write a bit imitation of their style then expand thereon to develop your own voice. The most idea is to require the discipline you learn and switch it into an inspired expression of your uniqueness in a very book that Josh says I believe one among the foremost important factors within the transition to becoming a high performance conscious is that the degree to which your relationship together, with your vertical bar along with your, pursuit remains harmonized with your unique behavior global learning principle number 3 investing in loss within the summer of 1994 Josh was within the middle of the ultimate match of the 18th World Chess Championship Absolute and his opponent offered him a draw and a chance to participate within the World Championship, but Josh refused and pushed for victory soon after turning him down a draw, his position collapsed and losing the match, 
Josh was grieving but used his pain as fuel very intensely and studied the sport he had just lost after 10 hours of study, discovering a significant strategic flaw within the middle of the night. Aim his knight was defending his king, but if he suddenly turned his knight far from his king and allowed his opponent to maneuver to him, he could use his opponent's aggression against him and build a chance for a counterattack. After a decade, he found himself within the Tai Chi Chuan Championship Finals, pushing world hands on the brink of defeat. His opponent's attacks were fierce and magical. Josh felt helpless. On the other hand, remembered the principle he learned from that painful match a few years ago. He made a small modification and opened himself to an attack that allowed him to use his opponent's aggression against him. Josh had succeeded in turning the match and returned to the house of the Tai Chi World Championships that Josh had not invest lots of your time and energy during this chess if he doesn't care much about winning and engaging at the very best level. The art of learning is about enjoying the educational process but it's also about putting yourself on the road because the losses we experience once we compete provide the best ideas and push us to urge better losses. Pain but this pain will provide fuel to concentrate on the technical and psychological mistakes you made and make corrections and therefore the returns from taking yourself out there and investing within the loss will come either within the kind of a much better preparation, a replacement strategy you'll spread behold, in future competitions or a renewed drive to boost at the top. Remember the three universal principles of learning, the three learning methods that you simply can apply to a brand new discipline to confirm that you simply rise to the highest 1% of this discipline. First feel the fundamentals by isolating the fundamental components of the discipline then practicing it not just until you are aware of it but until it feels natural. Then maintain your style by building on interests and selecting teachers who resonate with their style. It's okay to imitate a method within the beginning but ultimately you would like to make your own style and scale your own unique personality through the discipline you learn and invest finally in losing by routinely putting yourself to the test by trying to find a contest or scheduling public performances once you lose and doing badly. Use that pain as fuel to know what happened and accelerate your personal growth as Josh says. Answer heartbreak with exertions that was the first message, I collected it from the art of learning. But Josh Whitesk in this book was very interesting to read and provided profound insights into the educational process. If you liked this video please share it many thanks for watching.